What is going on everyone? Welcome back. I know it's been a long time since the last time I uploaded a new video on this channel and I apologize for that. I been having some issues with this platform pretty soon all those will be resolved and for those that have been sticking with us this whole time i appreciate you guys so much and if you are a new viewer and you just happen to come across this video thanks for stopping by and just a little bit about this channel it's all about ethical hacking information security penetration testing and the things that we're going to see is mainly kali linux and this platform other platforms that we're going to be looking at sometimes it's going to be parrot security os which is another very cool operating system to use when it comes to ethical hacking and all those special tools that we ethical hackers use in the field so for those that have been following this channel i know we left off on the kali linux series which i'm going to be reviewing all the tools we left off on the information gathering section, which in this case, we're going to be reviewing and also looking at the tool, which is called Multigo, which is a very powerful tool when it comes to information gathering. Now, really important, I've been saying this this whole time in this series, that information gathering is the crucial phase of a penetration test because everything that you find is going to depend either or not you're going to be able to exploit the target when doing a penetration test so really important to find out everything that you need everything that there is to know about the target in order to have a successful again penetration test so now before we start there's a few things that you need to know about this tool which is based on java and java consumes a lot of memory so make sure you have enough memory on your virtual machine or your operating system to run this tool properly another thing that you're going to need to do in order to use this tool if this is your first time using it is you're going to have to set it up first and this involves agreeing with the license agreement and setting up a user login obviously if you don't have a login you're going to need to register on their web page now the last few steps during the setup is going to actually update the application itself or this tool and lastly it's just going to ask you to finish and obviously you can click on that and close it out and that should be good to go another thing that you also need to look into is that sometimes on the first startup of this tool over to your bottom right you're going to see that there's going to be like a pop-up saying that you have updates available and i highly recommend that you update and apply those updates and what is going to do afterwards is that it's going to ask you to restart the tool so go ahead and do that and i'm sure that after doing these steps you shouldn't run into any issues because i heard that sometimes this tool hangs and that is because it needs to be up to date and it needs to have the appropriate amount of memory so keep those things in mind so let's get started the tool is going to be located in your start menu over to the section which is information gathering and over to your right you're going to expand the OSINT and for those that do not know what this means it's pretty much stands for open source intelligence so go ahead and expand that and it's going to be the first option which is Multigo and just an FYI we're also going to look at the Harvester which is another tool for information gathering and we're also going to look at this tool later in this video so let's go ahead and click on Multigo and let's get started so once your tool finishes loading everything that needs to load what you need to do here is look at your bottom right see if you have any updates available again it's really important that you update this tool to the latest to avoid any issues now what's the next step here is that we're going to select the machines tab and we're going to simply run a new machine so let's go ahead and do that And once you click on the run machine option you're going to have this window which is the start a machine and the first step here is to choose the machine now you have several of them which for example you have company stalker find wikipedia edits 
footprint level one level two i'm not sure if the l stands for level but it's level one and level two we also have other options which is level three we also have person and looking to trace someone's email address and the url to network and domain information so that is totally up to you as to what you want to choose as far as machine but the same concept applies to all of them which is pretty much running a group of processes here in order to gather all the information about that specific target and you'll see what i'm talking about here in just a bit because i'm going to be using the first option which is a company stalker now the next step is going to be the domain name so we're going to choose a domain of our choice that is totally up to you just make sure you don't put any typos but in this case we're going to run the company stalker machine on microsoft.com and obviously once you have your domain all you need to do here at this point is click finish now something to keep in mind during this process is that it may take a couple of minutes here and you're going to see the progress over to your top right where it says company stalker and you're going to see what it's doing in the background so just be patient make sure it finishes and at some point you're going to see some information like you see on your screen here which I have multiple email addresses tied to the microsoft.com site and at one point you're going to see that the machine has completed and what we can do here is proceed to the next step which is actually right clicking on any of these options here on your graph and let's see what we have available so for example if you right click on the domain which in this case is microsoft.com you're going to have a window pop up which is going to say run transforms now each of these transforms are going to have a symbol over to the right of it which is going to allow you to run certain transform and give you certain information which in this case you also have the option to run all the available transforms within this machine and if you go with a different option which in this case I right clicked on an email address you're going to get different types of transforms which in this case you can also do all transforms or find in entity properties get email details or related email addresses now this process just keeps going down and down now what I mean by that is that each time you get more details in regards to this specific information is that you're going to have more transforms available and so on until you get the details that you're looking for so it's just pretty much like drilling down into the information until you find what you're looking for right so that is pretty much what this tool is about now I'm not a professional at using this tool but it's really straightforward and easy to use once you get the hang of it now if you like this tool I suggest that you should practice you know just mess around with it play around now because this is a fantastic tool to have in your arsenal when it comes to penetration testing because it facilitates the process of gathering information or certain information that might be useful in your penetration test and before we go to another tool which is the harvester now one thing to keep in mind here that I'm using the community edition so some of the features on this tool are going to be limited but nevertheless if you like to look into this tool a little bit more please let me know down in the comments I would like to get into more depth of this tool run some more tests do some more investigation do some more information gathering and again I would like to do a series on this tool so we can all get the hang of it we can all practice and we can all get better at using this tool for our penetration tests so again this is going to conclude this really quick demo of the multiple tool now at this point if you just want to close this out go ahead and feel free to do so it's going to ask you if you want to save all this information or save this to a file you, that is totally up to you in this case I'm going to discard all this information because it's not useful I'm not doing anything and at this point 
I'm just going to go ahead and transition to the next tool, which is the harvester, which is another tool to gather information about a specific target. So let's go over to the tool. If you haven't started up this tool and you don't know where it is, it's under the information gathering section. All you need to do is go ahead and click on the start menu, go to that section and over to your right, obviously go over to the OSINT analysis again and it's going to be under the Multigo tool. So once you locate that, go ahead and click on it and let's go over to our terminal. And this is how the harvester tool is going to look in your terminal and make sure you keep in mind the version that you're running because you may be running a different version or it might look different, but nevertheless, it's going to do the same thing. And once you do, you're going to have several options here, which is going to tell you how to use this tool, which is the usage. And there's various optional arguments that you can use within this tool. And for today's example, what we're going to do is that we're going to search for email addresses on the Kali.org site, and we're going to limit this search to 10 results by using our source, which in this case is going to be google.com. And lastly, we're going to output these results to an HTML file. So let's go ahead and run this command. It's going to be really simple and really straightforward. Really important to look at the optional arguments to see what is available within the harvester tool. So that way you'll be able to get the results that you want in order to proceed with your next step of the penetration test. And once you have all your arguments ready to go, this is how your command should look like or should be similar to this one that I have on my screen. And in this case, I have the command, which is the harvester space dash space dash D which is domain that I'm going to target. And in this case, I'm going to use Kali.org. Now the dash L is I'm going to limit the results. And in this case, I'm going to limit to 10. I'm going to use a source by specifying the dash B argument here. And of course, I'm going to be using Google. And lastly, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to output these results to an HTML file by using the dash F argument. Now, again, once you have your command or similar command, once you, ha you have included the arguments that you want to use in order to gather the right results for you, and obviously it's pretty straightforward here, all you need to do here is hit enter. So once you hit enter, what you're going to see here is that the tool is starting, it's doing its thing, and the first thing that we see here is that no IPs found. That is fine. The next section is emails found, which in this case, we have two emails here. And lastly, there's some host found, which are 17. And it's basically going to output the domains or subdomains from this site. In this case, we're talking about Kali.org along with the IP address. Now, lastly, you're going to see that the report has been starting or the reporting started, reporting has finished, and it has saved the files. Obviously, the files are going to be dumped in your current directory. So at this point, what you need to do is just look for them because obviously you specify the name or just use the ls command to look and see if they're actually there. If your command ran successfully and the tool ran actually how it should, then the files, like I said, should be in your current directory. And in this case, it's Kali.html and it also looks like it dumped an XML file as well. Now what you can do here is you can either open your file manager, go to your root directory or folder and basically just click on the file, which is the HTML file that the harvester exported in that directory. So what you can do at that point is right click on the file and open it with your prefer browser of choice. And in this case, I'm using Firefox. Now, once you do, you're going to see this page here, which is the harvester scan report and the latest scan report with the dates, domain, the plugin, the record type and the result. So it's a pretty neat file that you can look 
and see your results and see what you can use from this information and proceed with the next step of your penetration test. And that is pretty much it, you guys, for this video. We looked at Maltigo, we looked at the Harvester, which are tools for information gathering for open source intelligence. And again, like I said earlier, if you're interested into diving more into the Maltigo tool, please let me know down in the comments. I would like to do a series on this tool because I'm starting to like it. I know it's a very powerful tool and it's a awesome tool to have in your arsenal for penetration tests and ethical hacking. So let me know down in the comments. And like I said, that is it for today's video. I appreciate you guys watching this. And don't forget, if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button below. Make sure to hit that like as well. And don't forget to enable notifications by hitting that bell as well. Again, you guys, thanks. Don't change it. Stay tuned. Stay healthy, most importantly. And I'll be right back. Thank you.